Commander. This is Sir Garavel, the new Captain of the Guard. I have a matter to bring to your attention. My predecessor, Captain Rullins, and much of the senior staff were inside the keep proper at the time. How they met their fates is unknown. All we know is Darkspawn swarmed the keep. I talked with the dwarf Voldrick earlier. It's his belief, and I concur, that they came from the keep itself. The deep cellars go very deep indeed. Voldrick suspects the Darkspawn found a hidden route into the keep. Barely any, truth be told, and none of the Wardens. But there are many soldiers still out patrolling the roads between here and Amaranthine. We can recover from this. That is disturbing, Commander. But all throughout the lands we've heard rumors. Tales of new Darkspawn. Terrifying ones, forged out of nightmare and shadow. Something grave is afoot. Certainly. Potentially urgent. The Olesians, wardens, I mean, began gathering information while they were here. The most promising lead they found was a wild tale a couple of hunters told. These hunters, Colbert and, well, the other one, claimed to have stumbled across an entrance to the deep roads. Darkspawn all over the place, they said. And this was before the fiends appeared throughout the whole Arling. The Wardens were just about to send someone to track down Colbert. One breeding ground, at least. Colbert and his friend are in the city of Amaranthine. Probably amongst the refugees outside the city gate. Commander. Commander. Grim, sir. It seems as if every darkspawn in the kingdom has been driven here. <sighs> the soldiers are split between protecting the Vigil and the city of Amaranthine. Scouts report darkspawn throughout the Arling and amassing. Where the soldiers aren't patrolling, the land is dangerous, Commander. Very dangerous. Good day, Commander. To business, then. Orle sent a dozen Wardens to the Vigil to await your arrival. Nearly all died in the attack, but Kristoff is still in the field. The Orlesian Wardens were uneasy that the Darkspawn weren't going to ground with the Blight ended. Kristoff was sent to track down some leads. A fortnight ago, he left in a bustle. As best we figure, he went to the city, Amaranthine. Only so many places travelers visit. I check the inns and taverns. You did, but not to me. The Wardens keep their own counsel. Wiser men than I have worried over that. One of the Wardens said the Archdemon's strength gave the Horde some semblance of purpose. If they found some other purpose... <sighs> That's the only thing that needs immediate attention. Do you want something else, Commander? Warden Commander, a pleasure to meet you. I'm Mistress Wolsey, sent by order of the First Warden at Whiteheart. I'm to act as Treasurer of the Arling of Amaranthine. He believed local men could not be trusted for this post. One of those local men is right here, Mistress Woolsey. I have every confidence in the Vigil's loyalty in the matter of arms. But gold corrupts even the most resolute soul. Sir, the Arling is on the brink of economic collapse. Trade must flow. Merchant caravans are being systematically attacked somewhere along the Pilgrim's Path. It is the only route that can reliably provision an army, feed a city, and maintain civilization. It is the road here from Denerim. You can see why it would be important. In the city of Amaranthine, there is a trader, Mervis, whose caravans have been hit particularly hard. He may know where along the road the Darkspawn, or whatever they are, are striking.
Very well, Commander. Blimey, Commander of the Grey. Right. A while back, they caught a thief in the vigil. Took four wardens to capture him. Gave one of the wardens a black eye, he did. Half joking, they said he might make a good recruit. He's in the dungeon, sir. I also have some letters. Arrived just before you did. Just give me a moment. Ah, Commander. Good thing you're here. This one's been locked up three nights now. Good men died while this one was protected in his cell. He won't give his name. All I know is he was caught poking around the estate in the middle of the night. I'd say he was just a thief. But it took four Grey Wardens to capture him. You best be careful. Whoever he is, he's no ordinary burglar, that's for sure. The Seneschal said it was your call, Commander. Technically, all the man's guilty of is theft. But who knows what else he might have come here to do. As you wish, Commander. I'll tell the Seneschal you came. He'll want to know what you decide to do with this man. If it isn't the great hero, conqueror of the Blight and vanquisher of all evil, Aren't you supposed to be ten feet tall, with lightning bolts shooting out of your eyes? Somehow I just thought that my father's murderer would be, uh, more impressive. I am Nathaniel Howe. My family owned these lands until you showed up. Do you even remember my father? My father served the hero of Riverdane, and fought against the Orlesians. Yet our family lost everything. I came here. I thought I was going to try to kill you. To lay a trap for you. But then I realized I just wanted to reclaim some of my family's things. It's all I have left. We used to live here once upon a time. Father didn't take everything with him to Denerim. Look, I know you're a hero. You fought a war and you won, and to the victor go the spoils, right? Whatever my father did, however, shouldn't harm my whole family. The house are pariahs now. Those of us left. It's all thanks to you. And now you get to decide my fate. Ha! <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? You're right. I'll go join Queen Honora's service immediately. She'll certainly want another how around. I'm not without skills. My time abroad wasn't spent chasing skirts and drinking wine. Hunting, scouting, poisons. Why? What do you care? <laughs> 
If you let me go... Uh, I don't know. I only came back to Ferelden a month ago. If you let me go, I'll probably come back here. You might not catch me next time. All ready? Good. I brought the Seneschal for you, Commander. I see you've spoken to our guest. Quite the handful, isn't he? Have you decided what's to be done with him? A how? He figures that they would turn up again. The Howes are implacable enemies, Commander. You what? I'm sorry, Commander. The right of conscription? On the prisoner? No, absolutely not. Hang me first. Hard to say. You like having Grey Wardens who want you dead? I can't decide if this is a vote of confidence or punishment. An interesting decision, Commander. Come with me, sir. We'll see if you survive the joining. From this moment forth, Nathaniel Howe, you are a Grey Warden. The moment of truth. The Howe is stronger than I expected. For better or for worse, he will live. Commander, the Lords of Amaranthine have come to swear fealty to you and the Grey Wardens. These were our Rendon House vassals. Now they will be yours. Lieges and vassals are seldom of one mind, Commander. Some of these Lords bore Rendon no love, but others had their prospects ruined with his demise. Tread carefully, Commander. Lords and ladies, I present the Warden Commander of Ferelden and Isle of Amaranthi. Commander. Ban Esmeral of Amaranthine, as is old custom, you have the honor of beginning. I promise that I, Ban Esmeral, will be faithful to the Isle in matters of life, limb, and earthly honor. Never will I bear arms against him or his heirs. So I say, in the sight of the Maker. I promise that I, Lord Edelbreck... And so the ceremony is complete. Long live the Warden Commander! Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. There's really only two who can offer real support in the war. Lord Edelbrick, master of the Firavel Plains, controls more farmland than anyone else. He's powerful and popular. Van Esmeral rules the city, wealthiest in the room by far. She may not be loved, but she cannot be ignored. Honored to meet you, Warden Commander. You come to us during desperate times. Not more about your precious farms, Edelbreck. Some in our Arling do not have the comfort of city walls. On the plains, the situation is dire. As we feast, the peasants on our lands are starving, or worse. The city's defenses are more important, Edelbreck. There may be wheat in the silos now, but if the farmers die, where will you get your food? Thank you, my liege. I see that Lord Edelbreck wastes no time in canvassing you for soldiers to defend his farms. Do not be deceived, Commander. His livelihood is all he cares about. 
Amaranthin is the jewel of the Arling, and she must be protected. Pragmatism. A farming hovel can be rebuilt with straw and mud. Amaranthine was built over generations. If she falls, then this great Arling will be diminished. Wealth is well and good, but what measure do you put to human life? The folk in the country outnumber your city dwellers many times over. I would not be so vulgar as to violate the decorum of this event. Commander? Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Edelbrecht speaks truly, sir, but things are dire. He and Ban Esmeral both contest the deployment of soldiers. But we don't have enough men. It's a matter of what you want to protect. The city, the land, trade. As you wish. Warden Commander, we've all heard so much about you. So many good things, unbelievable things. But many of your deeds cost people here a chance at great advancement. So many fortunes were deeply intertwined with the old Arl. Some nobles here, they seek to end your dominion over them. Perhaps you do not know the full extent of their determination. I've had occasion to intercept some of their missives. They are cryptic things. Any individual message is unintelligible, but together they form a pattern. They mean to end you before you can begin. A deadly coalition. Given a few days, I can retrieve the messages. I would have brought them tonight, but... I didn't know if warning you would be wise. I have much to lose and precious little to gain. Farewell. We will meet again soon. I'm here to serve, Commander. I will do what can be done, but you would be wise to keep alert for trading possibilities in your journeys. If you can persuade any merchants to trade here, it would benefit the vigil considerably. Very well, Commander. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Ah, uh, if you want the ceremony to... Do you know the conspirators? The right of high justice is yours, and treachery is a capital offense. She's a sly one, Sir Tamra but knowledgeable about such things. Better to be a touch paranoid than turning up face down in a ditch. To proceed, we'd need strong proof, and that'll be hard to gather. There are options, some I would not recommend. They could turn the nobles fierce. <laughs> Loghain and half the kingdom tried to stop you last time. I suppose there's little to worry about. Anything else? As you wish, Commander. Clear the hall. The Commander has business to attend to. Funny. Considering all the things that have been taken, it figures this would still be here. Good guess. That's her. My father hated my mother. He only dragged this painting out when my grandmother visited, which was not often. 
I'd be paraded before her like a soldier on inspection, and she would pick over every floor while father awaited his turn. I've no idea. Maybe one of your Grey Wardens needed it to cover up a hole. A shame, really. It's a good painting. She was never that pretty. Anyway, someone should take this down. I think it's staring at me. This, that. I don't mean to alarm you, Commander, but it's possible there are still Darkspawn in the Vigil. Let me explain. You know Dwarkin? That mad dwarf's bombs shook the whole keep. Some of the deep cellars caved in. I suspect that there are pockets of Darkspawn below, trapped. In time, they may dig their way out. We have men who can unearth the rubble at your command. Whenever you're ready, I can take you to the basement. Straight away, sir. Here we are. The vigil goes deep. Real deep. The hallways down here have been crumbling for years and decades. And that blasted Dworkin's explosives didn't do the structure any favors. You heard the commander. Put your backs into it. This is where you come in. Who knows what's up ahead? We'll be back here. 